we combine the flour and the water and when it's finished mixing, sister pours it through the sieve to get out any lumps and then puts it aside and starts the next bucket. So and today we're doing six buckets because we're baking on two stoves. Many cloistered communities make altar breads. Um, we're the only Port Clare of our branch of the Port Clares in this country out of the 22 monasteries that form that branch that still bake. For the most part in general, our life is very structured. Um, you know, we pray seven times a day. So we work and pray about the same quantity of time, about five and a half hours each. Um, and that's, that's a difficult thing is to balance, um, just like any human being on the outside, to balance the work and the prayer. But we have to remember here that really the work interrupts the prayer and not vice versa. There is a lot of variety and it would surprise people on the outside. You know, a lot of times people think that, you know, that your day is very monotonous. But, you know, we laugh when we hear that because we think, oh, we would welcome a little monotony, you know, <laughs> because we have a lot of feast days and um, we, we celebrate them a little bit more specially. And, you know, there are always things um, coming up like the folks visit. It's a way that means a great deal to us because the breads become the communion host, become the body of Christ. And it's a way that we can be united with all the people there in a very hidden way, which is very much like our life.